<laughs> was it fight night yeah but no right it's like <laughs> oh shit sometimes you're up i never up for that myself to fight i i i'm so some yeah that's that sounds like some shit it's fucking great really but no because i'm like the most fucking i grew up with a bunch of that reminds me too <laughs> yeah, no. I'm sick of fighting. It's too late now. Everybody wanna. Every I see some people, and I don't wanna ever say no. But they'll be like, "All right, uh, chill, chill vibe time." And you're like, "Okay, cool, whatever." <laughs> Normally, I, I. But and then you know it'll la- it lasts for a little while. But and then the whole in the back of my mind the whole time I'm resenting shit and thinking about it with you. I'm like, and you wait till a fucking week till I'm gone and shit. Had no faith in me, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I'd expect from you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, you know, I'm sick of fucking fighting. Man. Too much. The Altamont fight. You ain't shit till you till you're a kid and you've been to the Altamont fight up around here. Yeah. They should make t-shirts for, like, the Altamont Fair when it comes around, and you can use the old, like, <laughs> use the old 1960s image of, like, somebody getting stabbed at the Rolling Stone show back in the 60s at Altamont Racetrack in California. And it'll be, like, Altamont Fair. And you'll see, like, a black dude with, in a pimp outfit with a green pimp outfit stabbing a biker and the biker, like, getting rough. That'd be great. You got Mick Jagger in the back photo like this with his microphone. Hey, people, people, can we get some peace, man? Love your brother. I think someone shot or stabbed out there. <laughs> people. Yep. Fucking uh, Hells Angels. Well, not so much Hells Angels, but bikers are fucking famous for that shit. They provide cheap security. And uh, more often than not, uh, shit goes bananas. I mean, Evil can Evil had them for a while too, and it was just, and that's why real bikers were like looking at Evil like, now you were never a biker. But, um, it always ends in tragedy, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, didn't it? With Evil can Evil? They, what happened? It turned into a full scale fucking, uh, it, it's like if the Altima Affair had gotten looted by pirates, they, they demanded beer. And then they got all the beer and they drank like thousands and thousands of dollars of beer that was supposed to be for the festival. Uh, there was multiple rapings, real rapings, from the bikers and the people there. Um, I think I think that's the one. I could be wrong on this. Evil can evil fucked up, and I think he got hurt at that one, or he couldn't perform. But either way, they wanted him to jump off a fucking. Basically, a mountain that had a chain link fence that was ten feet away from the edge of the cliff, and yeah, I, I gotta go watch that later. Yeah, we gotta. Someone's gotta write songs about that, like amusement park disasters, um, concert, you know, mishaps. Just writing and critiquing all the frailties and bat, you know, uh, uh, what do they call that? Like handbag, you know. Uh, sin- you know, cases like really sad tragedies. Just, just commenting on all that shit, on how things could quickly go fucking awry. <laughs> Multiple stabbings and rapings, and from a show that got hijacked. I mean, it's just insane to think about. But I don't even want. I don't even care about you like that. You won't let me form a, a common demeanor with you. You'll step in and and play each side of a 20-sided die. <laughs> you know? I'm not talking to you, hater. You hater fags will never understand me. You'll never understand because it happens so fast. <laughs> and that's, that's it. That's all it means. <laughs>